this one, this bitch looks really innocent. And we're back with the bonus episode you didn't ask for. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. Fuck. <laughs> Hi guys, it's us. We're back again on a Thursday. You're welcome. It's a bonus, but bonus. Bonus <laughs> episode. Don't get used to these because we actually only do these for our patrons. But we know we said, fuck it. Let's check in with our YouTubers and our bonus listeners. <laughs> you know, next year you're going to get so much less content. It's crazy. You have to be a Patreon or you're not going to get anything. You're going to barely see us. <laughs> You barely, like, barely. <laughs> Is that Erica? Is that, I saw a curl. <laughs> censored. Um, yeah, we just got on this bonus episode because we just had to remind you that we are relaunching our debut live show tour in Los Angeles, our home city, on the week of Erica's birthday. At the Terragram motherfucking ballroom. Terragram. The Terragram. Because we're classy with the Terragram. <laughs> oh, us at the Terragram. Yes, this Saturday, October 21st. So if it's October 22nd, you missed it, bitch. I don't know what to tell you. But if it's the 20th, get your ticket because it's today. It's tomorrow. Get your girls. Get your outfit. It's not too late. Don't make excuses. Um, last time we had a show in LA, it was like a matinee show. It was during the day. It was. And it still. <laughs> no, and why was it during the day? We came out. It was still daylight. <laughs> it was at twelve o'clock. <laughs> it was a very early it's show. But in my memory, it still <laughs> felt like nighttime because we got we got nighttime drunk, even though it was the daytime. So this time it's really going to be nighttime. So it's really about to get ratchet. Let's get ratchet. ratchet. Let's get ratchet. Please come smoke a backwood with me. I'm smoking a classic vanilla backwood currently. I uh, love the classic vanillas around here. The vanilla just is old faithful for me. You just can't go wrong. The vanilla and the honey, the double honey is really. I know I put, I didn't put that much honey on here, but it's just enough. It's just enough to put that sweetness into the vanilla plus the backwood plus this delicious weed that we've been smoking for a while now at the studio. It's the Gorilla RX pink label weed and it's kind of my favorite at the moment. So that whole combination, because it really does matter what you put inside of your backwood. No, it absolutely does matter. I also really enjoy a breakfast backwood. Mm. With a coffee or a tea. I like a ba- and then brush your teeth. You gotta brush your teeth out there. I kind of, I like the t- the combo taste. That's interesting. <laughs> of the toothpaste? Well, sometimes it's either I brush my teeth and then I smoke a backwood, because it has this like minty extra flavor. I've never done that before. No. Oh yeah. It's new. They so need to rinse it. It's a backwood hack. They need to li- rinse it Breaking and Breaking news, backwood hack. <laughs> brush your teeth, then smoke a backwood. Then you possibly should also brush your teeth afterwards. Yeah. But if you don't get to it, at least you brush your teeth before, which hopefully you did anyway. But you have to brush your, brush your teeth and then smoke a backwood pretty close in, in the time span to really have that hit, the flavor hit. Interesting. I like to put like a little bit of lavender in mine. Can you pass the backwood? I'm sorry. You're really hogging the backwood at this point. So we'll be having a backwood smoke session in the parking lot of the Terragam. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, we also have some surprise guests. We do. We have surprise guests. Some sexy ab oiled up. That's your ruining the surprise. Shh. They don't know who it is. Just some divine masculine energy. <laughs> we also have Lizzie Jeff DJing um, and performing. Mm-hmm. We also have live performances from Erica and Mila, <clears throat> per the usual. I mean, we usually do things that nobody asked us for. Do you know what I was thinking? Honestly, random thought. I was like, what if me and Mila like start like 
<laughs> practicing on the side like she does a pole dance i was thinking and then like <laughs> i was like what would be mine i'm gonna come out and do a choreographed dance i'm like look guys i worked on my dance moves i have a whole I, you want a sound i'm bowl? gonna conquer my feel fears i love i'm so happy you thought this because yesterday first of all luna's becoming like a world-class dancer i don't know look, shout out to the heart school okay because <laughs> she is choreographed out okay i, I love was it like she's like oh yeah me and lula did our own tiktok i was like okay i'm like i need to do i need to practice with you because you're about to <laughs> outshine me so i was like while she was doing these new choreograph choreographies i'm like this is what we need i think i think me and erica need to do a sexy choreography i'm like i know she's gonna be against it we need to work on this no <laughs> Luna inspired me because she's like all in her body. I'm like, yeah, this is what we need. <clears throat> Maybe it'd just be like a like a quick two eight counts. I think you can do it. Okay. Nobody. Us. I, I'm just letting you know, nobody us. And also, this is not happening this weekend. And just so you guys know, that I don't know. We're in the studio right now. I think I think we can. I can learn a sixteen count. I think you can. Okay. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need to pick up Luna. I'm sorry, but I thought you could go to the um, to your play date, but we need you to choreograph our show. Lou, on actually, I need <laughs> Lou. I thought you were gonna choreograph. Lou, our and Lou's like, uh, uh, that is not cute, Erica. <laughs> Fuck, Lou. <laughs> Don't be fucking around with that choreography, no. honey. Oh my god. Um, it's also the week of Halloween, mm -hmm. so we're encouraging our bitches to wear costumes, mostly because I know you want to. Wear costumes, get sexy. Oh, you see that underbelly? Ooh, but don't, I don't get, want to get don't, flagged. Don't get us flagged. Wait, don't wait, get us flagged, wait. but you're, you won't get flagged wait, wait, if wait. they're live. If, but if you come, this is what you're going to get. Some sexy moves by me. I have my outfit. Did, did you order your outfit? I saw you some orders on oh, I did. On I, need our to account. Order, I need to order more stuff, but. I ordered some stuff from. Doll skill. I had to go on Dolls Kill. I might have to pick it up now. Is it Dolls Kill? Dolls Kill. It's dolls Kill. Doll, dolls Kill. Shout out to Dolls Kill. I need to get. I need to get There's my. some cute shit on there. I know. I, I was like, oh my god, I could just be a sex goddess all the time I know. if I just shopped at Dolls Kill. But it's like the Forever Twenty One of like dominatrix, sexy, gothic. It's like gothic. It's like my sixteen year old. Punk. It's like my sixteen year old self. It's like elevated hot topic, but yeah. still oh. cheap. That's what it is. It's ele it's, they're kind of getting over over ridiculous. There's some things. My cart was like four hundred dollars. That's why I didn't order it. You know, I have anxiety with ordering. But I was like, dolls kill. Y'all need to chill. <laughs> also, you know, they're racist. I heard something. They're racist. They're all racist. Right. Everyone's racist. They're all racist. Welcome to the world. <laughs> Welcome to the world where racism <clears throat> is acceptable. I'm still gonna buy from dolls kill. Shh. I gotta. Yeah. I can't tell you what I got because you gotta come see. But it's hot. It's hot. Did you put it on? No, I didn't put it on yet, but I they, had, they also have extra, extra smalls. So I really only frequent places that have extra, extra small or else what the fuck is the point? It's not going to fit when it comes and I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. So sexy outfits, gifts for Erica and me too if you want to just throw me in there. <laughs> sexy S, possibly a choreographer dance. Lizzie Jeff, you know, she's coming sexy as hell. Her DJ set. Her performance, she's gonna like sound bathe us in her lyrics. She is. She is sound bathing with her voice. The show. She's the sound, sound bather bather. of the show. And let me tell you guys, one time Lizzie Jeff DJed our yacht, and it was it and, was a vibe. And I was getting head under under the deck, and her song came on, and it was like I don't like I don't do tech like something about toxic niggas, and I was like she's like I want only healthy healthy spiritual love, and I was like oh yeah, I was getting head. I was like oh yeah. <laughs> I highly she, recommend. No, she taps like her music is also kind of like similar to affirmation music, and it's just it it, it, it evokes and a, rem feel, a yeah. feeling and a, an frequency. empowerment and a frequency where you're like, ooh, I want to be in this frequency. I just want to always be in her frequency. Just she just is a vibe. Especially like dressed up and sexy. Yeah. I mean, just knowing Lizzie Jeff is going to be there is makes you bitches. I mean, know. I mean, now I feel like we need to have roses on the table. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Put that on a writer. Okay. 14 dozen roses. 14 dozen roses. We're not cleaning them up after. How about that? An, an almond milk latte. <laughs> One bottle of tequila, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, shot glasses, limes. Grapes, raspberries. One bottle for the audience. With one of those little things in it. What, is else, what else should be on our rider? It just depends. Like, I find fried chicken, probably. But, chicken it has wings. Be, but from where? Like, we got to be the right chicken wing. It's true. That's why it gets tricky. But it's tricky anywhere. When you try, when you start traveling, when you're a touring, when you're a touring artist like we are, it's hard to get good fried. It's chicken gonna be. Everywhere. You can't get it consistently. The good shit everywhere you go. You just gotta get what you get. Sometimes you just get upset. You don't eat it. 
last year, um, we had some really sexy segments. There was like some oral fixation segments, some fruits. Um, fruits were eight. Fruits were eight. That's what I was thinking. Are we bringing back any eating of any fruits or vegetables? I mean, it could be. You never know. You'd have to come and find out. But what I do know is that us tapping into all the senses is kind of always the intention especially at our retreats i I think of our shows as like they're not retreats they're like turned up versions of they're like the pleasure the pleasure (laughs) it's like a pleasure intensive and and that's why i think so many people come alone too like they don't it doesn't matter if you come with friends which obviously come with all your girls but even if you can't get anyone to commit just go because you're going to meet a bunch of bitches that want to do the same shit as you which is have a fucking good time it's a free space it's like really a space to be free make friends tap in with your pleasure, tap in with your sensuality and your sexuality and own it. You know, it's like everyone's on the same type time. And so you feel that that frequency of like the feminine, the freaky divine feminine. But also if you have a man, bring your man because that will definitely make him ready. I really feel like, I feel like the vibe of the show in general is like foreplay. It could be foreplay to something or like, even if like you're in a relationship where you need that, like a little spark, this you don't know it. where to start. You don't want to be like an aggressive, but you just want to have a good night and have fun. This is the space because really yeah, because it gets that, that freedom. It, it, it helps unlock you and it will help unlock your partner because once you're in the vibe and the energy of so many other people being open and kind of maybe even being a little bit nervous, a little bit scared, and then you realize you're in the safe space, it just, that's where it gets really fun. It does get really fun. It's like a, our show is an aphrodisiac. Yeah. <laughs> I said it here first, guys. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's been a long, it's been a year. I know. Yeah. You have any more birth, birthday wishes for the people coming? Birthday wishes. Um, <clears throat> What do I want? I want money. I want your money. <laughs> I want your hugs. We can start with those few things. Money, hugs. Oh, and weed. Weed, yeah, that'd be nice. It's like a collective manifestation. Yeah, you can give me weed. That would be nice. Wrapped in a beautiful box. That would be really special and intentional. Thank you. Don't get caught at security, though. I don't know if they're going to check it I don't, back. yeah, I can't be can liable can. for any of those things. Just hide it good. We did not tell you to bring weed if they told you. Don't tell them that we said that it was okay. Don't send them this video. Definitely don't light any weed. I was kidding. In the, in the venue. We want to be able to come back. Don't show your ass. Everything said here is for entertainment purposes only. Do bring your titties out. Do wear the fishnets. That for sure. Do that. Do find a unicorn in the audience. Do not tell them that we told you to bring us wheat. <laughs> um, bring us alcohol, too. That would be nice. Definitely going to have to sneak that in. <laughs> Don't bring your own alcohol. No, buy the alcohol there. <laughs> Rule, the rules of engagement for our show. <laughs> be bad. Don't be bad. Be kind of bad, but don't get caught. Don't get caught. <laughs> be bad. Don't get caught. And don't inflict us. Don't. Inf- what does it say? include us and then just come and confess this is a night of just open confessions and honesty and i got some things i got some things to confess i do too yeah there's some things we don't say on here if you can believe it or not and then we get super comfortable at the live show and then we're like guess what guys nobody us (laughs) and i did last weekend well it feels better it's not it's not recorded well it could be but not like how it is here you know what? I just thought of something, which I think will be fun, too. I'm also open to, I know I realize that we do a lot of confessing on the show, but no one ever really has the opportunity to ask us questions. Mm. <laughs> You're just listening. <laughs> so people probably have questions about certain of many of our confessions. So now is your opportunity to ask us anything. Oh, my God. We're opening the floodgates. We are. Go back into the Rolodex. You have a few days to go back and re- try to remember the, all those Bay's names <laughs> and all the weird shit we did and you can say why the fuck did you do that why the fuck I did that too I know you did girl oh my god okay yeah bring it well we'll see you this Saturday Yay. at the Terragram Ballroom 6pm October 21st drop that shit in the group chat clear your schedule and come hang out with Erica for her birthday Come hang out with the good moms. Come on. See you this weekend. Bye.